Yet, knife crime, that's still a thing. I mean, it's always been a thing. I can remember the knife amnesty in the 90s. Yeah, that's right, kids. In the 90s, so I had a lot of knives, basically. I had like a machete like a machete like that. I had a fucking sword, about that big. Um, I had like a boot knife. Um, I had like a Rambo style knife. Um, I had a flick knife. Uh, um, I had a lot of, I had a lot of fucking knives, a lot of knives. I used to carry a knife all the time, like from the age of probably thirteen to maybe seventeen, eighteen. Um, but when the knife amnesty happened after uh, the headmaster, I'm pretty sure it was called Philip Lawrence. There's two major murders in the 90s that affected a lot of stuff. Philip Lawrence and Stephen Lawrence. No relation. Um, after the headmaster got stabbed to death, they had a knife amnesty. And thousands and thousands of knives got handed in. And then they changed the laws on knives that you couldn't carry anything above. I think it was like a six-inch blade. That was illegal. And then, then eventually it was like, if you caught carrying a knife, it was like two and a half years instant, something like that. And I got a lot of my knives. My mum basically found them and threw loads of my knives in the amnesty bin and then I was knifeless while well, I hid a few of them so you know knife crime it's it's always a thing gun crime then there's knife it just goes around in fucking circles like it's always a cycle of shit you know now we're talking about knives again it was acid about two years ago uh, now it's knives again I expect guns will come back in next year um, so look forward to guns coming back in, everybody. Yeah, and then knives will have their come around, and probably then they'll find some other crazy weapon to use because uh, no one's seen acid coming. I mean, I don't know what's next. Maybe fire-breathing pit bulls might be next. Who knows? And obviously, um, you know, I'd hate to say that the, the the powers that be are completely out of touch with reality, but. Based on this headline here, I'm, I'm starting to think that that's definitely a thing. Home Secretary, sweep the net, take down knife crime posts. Yes, as we all know, as I mentioned the other day, about um, only 9% of crimes in this country actually being prosecuted. And we have a rampant knife crime problem, as, as we do every couple of years anyway. Um, it's just the thing that happens. And, you know, the police are uh, just... Well, the police would rather just arrest people that, that misgender people on Twitter or, um, you know, get their dogs to do silly things. That's what the police like to do these days because um, it makes them look like they're actually making arrests and prosecutions. So if you only 9% of um, crimes uh, lead to prosecutions, I, I'd be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if 5% of those crimes were silly, were silly um, shit, you know, just um, people chatting shit on Twitter and Facebook and and the likes, you know, just having fucking back and forth with people. And and that makes the police look like they're actually doing something and the government look like they're doing something. It just makes them look like they're, you know, not crap at their job. Um, You know, you wouldn't hear me say they're shit at their job. No, sir. Um, so, you know, this is a great idea because obviously, I mean, the Home Secretary is clearly a savvy guy. He clearly knows what's going on. He's like going... Well, police can't be bothered to do proper policing anymore. They're just completely inept and fucking useless. So, uh... What on earth? So... Sorry, I just got sent a shitload of money from someone. Ah! Who the hell is that? Ah, good for you. Right, so... Ahem... <clears throat> So, you know, does it? So the Home Secretary is a savvy guy and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the police are just fucking useless and they're just only concerned with doing stuff on the interwebs. So, how are we going to. Well, let's look like we're actually trying to solve the knife crime issue. And, you know, they know, the, they know their way around the internet. They know it better than the streets. They don't know nothing about the streets no more, but they know the internet. So, why don't we get them to stop knife crime on the internet? That's all right, isn't it? I mean, everyone's concerned about Russia and shit, uh, you know, and people looking up self-harming Instagram posts. So, you know, there's going to be some mums, some stay-at-home mums who haven't got a clue about nothing um, are going to be happy about this and saying, well, good for you. Yeah, so uh, that's fine. 
<sighs> so, Sajid Javid. Sajid Javid. The Home Secretary wants to introduce new laws to stop social media being used to fuel knife crime. You know, I don't know how, how you know, how social media is fueling knife crime. Is it as in they're threatening people over DMs more than they are via text? Or, um, you know, I don't know. He's told Newsbeat he doesn't have what he needs to crack down on things that fuel gang disputes, despite the laws which exist to remove terrorism content and child sex abuse images from online. So what what does he think is fueling gang disputes online? Is is this going to go back to drill videos and shit? Because you know how many drill videos got banned? This is UK drill, by the way, not like Chicago. Yeah, you know, UK drill. Like loads of videos got banned from YouTube. And actually, a lot of drill artists have started uploading a Pornhub. I was going to do something about this ages ago, but I totally forgot. Um, which is just kind of, kind of fucked and hilarious at the same time. It's like, you know... That a, that a whole subgenre of music has found a new home on Pornhub because because the police have told YouTube that it's naughty. I mean, this is nothing new. They banned So Solid Crew from almost every venue in the UK. No, from every from performing live in the UK because someone that wasn't someone was at their shows and shot someone. Brilliant. It wasn't one of them that shot anybody. It was just someone. Just someone shot someone. And they go, well, you know. And it's like, oh, we'll make a... This is what they do. They go, oh, we'll make a stand. We'll show people we're serious about this. We're going to... What are you going to do? Oh, we're going to ban So Solid Crew from performing, you know. They were like, had a number one album of platinum selling, you know, massive acts. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll show them we're serious about gun crime. And some people might think oh, it was a racial thing or it was a class thing or something. But I swear, it, it's literally just ineptitude in this country it's it's never people give the establishment way too much credit like in order to have a racist system in place you have to have competence because you know it takes effort in order to be um to have a racist system it, it actually requires effort look at nazi germany a lot of effort must have cost a fortune so i wouldn't give them that much credit it's literally they're just like well we can't solve this gun crime problem because we're useless so what we'll do is we'll we'll um we'll make an example of someone who i don't know so solid crew are big now and there was a shooting at their show and let's just ban them from every venue then everybody will bloody take us seriously it's like it's just it's just oh, it's just pathetic and that's like almost 20 years ago nothing's can you believe nothing's changed in 20 years but me 30 years ago like Zoella's a millionaire now she wasn't no one could have been a millionaire like that 20 years ago but the police are still doing silly things police are still fucking useless so that's good isn't it anyway I've lost my trailer for a couple of years back the internet companies were not taking you know, the internet companies like eBay, because, you know, eBay is fueling knife crime. That's a given. 100% eBay. And I don't know if you know about but Mumsnet. Mumsnet, you know, you can you can swap skengs on fucking Mumsnet. You can swap shanks on Mumsnet as well. Chivs, whatever you want to call your street terminology for your stabbies and your shooties. You know, lots of people doing swapsies on fucking Mumsnet, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, the internet companies were not taking it seriously enough to remove this content from the internet. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We don't know what the content is yet. I have no idea. No one's mentioned what this content is yet and how it fuels knife crime. I am... Um, do you know what I mean? When you're reading articles and you're just you're just going, oh, where's this lead? You know, it's a beautiful journey. It's a... You know, there's so much tension. I feel so much tension right now. Um, you know, it's... it's 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 creating like I like the way that the Home Secretary is creating tension here, because I really want to know how this is all being done. I I want the big reveal. I'm up for it. I am wet. Fucking make me spurt. He wants them to do more. The internet companies, you know, just the internet companies. Go, Daddy. You know what I mean? I got lots of internet things on this phone. What internet companies have we got on here? 
Who's responsible for knife crime out of my apps? I don't know. Tinder? Um, I don't know. The Tesco banking? I don't know. Who else is responsible for, for shit that's going on? BBC Weather. You know? Because I can remember in 2016 when it was fucking hot as piss. Like a few days after my birthday before. Like in June. Like when it hit like thirty four degrees and like there was just you know, there was that they steamed McDonald's in Marble Arch, just made their own burgers. They fucking steam rushed um Tesco's on Old Kent Road. Um someone got shot outside my flat. Um there was a water fight in Hyde Park that's turned into a knife fight, you know. There was like hundreds of people and they were chucking Hennessy bottles at the police. So, you know, BBC weather. The weather was responsible for that outbreak of madness that day. So, you know, what's he doing about the weather? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you up to? Anyway, let's move on from the internet companies. Home Secretary says he told major online brands, you know major online brands like Boohoo, Boohoo, which is like just totally fueling knife crime. Boohoo.com, you know. Giacomo. Because fat people need to get stabbed too. The Home Secretary says he told major online brands that they need to introduce better tools to monitor content which could result in criminal activity like knife crime. So the Home Secretary seems to be saying here, we're shit. So could you develop one of them algorithm things where you can like just do our job for us that you don't get paid to do? Internet companies need to use their own tech to do more. We, I mean, we could get the police to do stuff, but... You know, <laughs> that's like asking a toddler to build a bridge. After lots of pressure from this government and the US government, I went over to the US myself and spoke to five tech giants. So what do you do? Walk around, what do you do? Fucking walk around Silicon Valley to go up to Jack Dorsey and say, Hey, what are you doing about knife crime in my country? Like, I said you need to do more. Use your own technology to sweep the net and find these videos and take them down. So this is all cloak and dagger shit. What are these videos, Jabby? What are these videos? They haven't mentioned anything about what is this thing that's fueling knife crime? These videos. It's like, why are you teasing me? What are these videos? Right, so we've established it's videos, okay? So that narrows it down of these internet companies. So it's like, who has videos? YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, and then all the other things that host videos, like everything. Right, <clears throat> You need to do more, he said. Sweep the net. They are doing an incredible job today, and I want to see them employing the same emphasis to that knife and gang-related content too. I do worry about my daughter, and Sajid Javid says he's concerned about knife crime as both a politician and a father. My eldest daughter is a professional knife fighter. Now I made that bit up. My eldest daughter has started going out more than she used to. Hmm... Uh, but I do worry, and there are some nights, and I've stayed up into the early hours of the morning waiting for her to get back home. Oh yeah, all for um, just parents do, isn't it? Home Secretary was speaking just weeks after he introduced new powers to control suspects through thought to be carrying knives. Brilliant. You know, every time they've introduced a new law on knife crime, I mean, they just kept increasing the sentences. Uh, they banned carrying any kind of knife. Um, increase the sentences again and none of it's worked good what have British police done so far here we get to the real good bits drill music has been linked to knife crime oh a bit I've never heard such a thing before what music is is linked to the police the, 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 the oh, they've linked music to crime I haven't heard this sort of... I haven't heard this kind of rhetoric before. That's like saying, like, UK Garage was linked to gun crime. And grime music was linked to gun crime. I've never heard the police say such things before. This is very new to me. I didn't know there was a link between... I have Ah, oh, this is... Well, yeah. Well, well done. Oh, good for you. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's really good. We're going to blame UK drill artists for the rise in knife crime. Brilliant. Well, what does that do? Oh, I know what it does. It makes us... All right. 
So drill music has been linked to knife crime and some artists have been have already been given prison sentence sentences for, for performing music which incited violence against rival gang members. I have heard about some of that shit. It's like, all right, okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. The Metropolitan Police recently worked with YouTube to have videos deemed to be inciting gang rivalries removed, but it took Newsbeat 30 seconds looking for one of the banned videos online, which we played to the Home Secretary. Oh, what, you found it online? You mean... Good God, what? The go what do you mean the government aren't in charge of the entire internet yet? This is bad. You need to own... You need what the... Int I told you to sweep the internet for all knives! I wanted all knives off the internet. All violence. What have you done? He said he needs new laws to help with this. My message to these companies is we are going to legislate. And how far we go depends on what you decide to do now, he says. Blah, 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 blah. Then we get to this bit. Could this result in minorities being targeted? Police be getting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Police getting new powers over what we post on social media is a worry for some civil liberty campaigners. The solution to reducing crime doesn't lie with alarmist legislation that risks suppressing creative expression. I totally agree with that. It perpetuates the marginalization of minority communities and diverts attention from the root causes of violence. Incitement to violence is already a criminal offence and the police have a lot of powers to enforce it. We urge the Home Secretary to change course and consult widely on rights-based effective approaches to addressing serious violence. Um, we, uh, well, they're going after every fucker for anything these days, so it doesn't matter about race. It literally doesn't matter. There's just, it, I, I literally don't know what the what they do anymore. Like, what do the police do? Uh, what, are, what, what? Are, they're just so inept. It doesn't matter I, I, whether it's racist policies or not. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter at this stage. It's just just fuck it. Like I said, it's just. It's just nonsense, the whole thing. It's just like, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Who's, who are most of the people getting stabbed? Was it black people? All right. Uh, what do they like? Oh, they make this music. Well, let's ban that because we haven't got any ideas. Uh, oh, mm. oh, this is about some former gang member. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Back in my day, if I was listening to drill music, I'm riding out 24-7. If I was listening to drill music every day, the way it is now i'm definitely committing crime who said this a former gang member robert bragg sorry i'm backtracking who first carried and used a knife at the age of 12 agrees there needs to be big change the 26 year old served six years in prison for a range of gang related crime he's now part of a program to encourage school children not to get involved with knives stricter measures do need to be put in place so people cannot release footages of people calling people out bragging about knife crime and violence back in my in London, it's normal. It's just one of the things. You wake up, you have your breakfast, you stab someone. Now, that's not normal in London. Like, there's a very small minority of people that it's 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 not everybody that stabs people. Like I, like I said, I used to carry a knife all the time. I never stabbed anyone. I used to know loads of people. We always used to carry fucking knives. We didn't stab anyone. It was just in case someone tried to stab us. Or the case bigger boys came and we couldn't fight them, so we'd stab them instead. But like, the fuck are you going? At? Like, I, uh, do you know what I mean? It's like they give credence to a guy because oh, he stabbed loads of people. He went to jail for six years. Now we've got to listen to everything he says because he knows everything about stabbing. I mean, this guy's a fucking nutter, isn't he? It's like I've. St this is the guy. I've seen this thing on him, and he was like, yeah, yeah. I, I can't even count the amount of people I've stabbed. He's like some. He's like fucking a stabbing Casanova, like this guy. Like this is this guy's a lunatic. That's clearly. Like I know people who've stabbed people and people who've been stabbed, and they like not everyone's out of going. I wake up, have breakfast, and I stab someone. You're a fucking lunatic. That's who you are. That's what I'd say. I don't think your opinion should be the only opinion they're listening to. I'm going well, it's just dr you know drill music fuels it all. It's like are you fucking out of your mind? What the fuck? How can this guy be agreeing with it, man? Now, they, now, I'm not one of these people who doesn't think there's any correlation any correlation between 
music and violence. Um, because I remember when Fifty Cent blew up, and then fucking I just remember some mad shit going. But like, I'm not putting that on Fifty Cent. But I'm saying there is, you know, it can be influential to a certain degrees. You know, if you know, if modern trap music has like been you know, to blame for a rise in people taking pharmaceutical drugs. There's definitely an argument for that. Because, like, back in the day, it was not cool to pop the drug that I was popping, but now it is. So, you know, like, music does set trends. It can, all right, it can. But to pin it all on art is something that the establishment... I hate to say the establishment, fat the establishment, like it's something that they've been trying to say for fucking for 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 decades, almost a hundred years, maybe even longer. Who knows? Recorded history, everything. Blame it on music. Blame it on the internet. Blame it on it. instead of going. And I'm not one of these people who goes blame the blame the people who do the social housing. Blame the fact that there's food banks. Blame the fact that there's this. Blame the conservatives. Blame the fact that there's no recreation centres for the kids. I'm not one of them people either. Because none of them are right. There's some. There's just some shit going on. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's neither one nor the other. I think they're both chatting absolute fucking bullshit. I think there's some serious problems out there. And someone needs to actually do... Someone needs to, like, do something proper. Instead of just putting... They're not even... You know, certain laws they do, they're just putting a band-aid over the problem without any actual, without actually solving it. They're not even doing a band-aid no more. They're just drawing it on. They're drawing the band-aid on going, there's your band-aid. Like, they're literally doing that. We need to sweep the internet to help fucking knife crime. We need middle-class cocaine users to stop snorting cocaine because it fuels knife crime. It's like, do you know anything about anything about where drugs come from? Or what knife crime's about, or what criminal like th- these are the people. Who the fuck are these people? This is mental, and it's and this is what pisses me off. This is the same shit I've been hearing for most of my life, and nothing's ever changed. Nothing's ever changed. It's always the same from the left, same from the right. Yeah, 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 And what happens in the meantime? Little kids get stabbed to death. Because there's lunatics who go, wake up, have breakfast, stab someone. Like there's lunatic like this is it is it this is the best you can do sweep the internet fuck you like honestly it's ridiculous I'm so bored of this crap so bored of the same answers over and over again it's so boring and non-eventful it's so boring and it's it's just just boring now it's not even it, it was laughable then it was heartbreaking now it's just fucking boring stop fucking boring me